Hey out viewer, what do you get when you cross Dostoevsky's beard, Chekhov's moustache and a cricket ball? James Peck, that's who. Welcome to Wheatley TV. Well here in the Battle Law Championship today we're playing Knotts and Arnold Amateur CC, who are based just north of Nottingham. Big fancy city types coming up here with big fancy ideas. <laughs> 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 Please do. Eddie's won the toss. Wheatley are batting on another glorious day here at the Wheatley Oval. And Knotts and Arnold are about to fire down the first ball. Needless to say, it's uh, Jamie Sizer and Tom Waterfield opening batting for Wheatley. So Jamie plays that down into gully. Well, while Wheatley were getting thoroughly Fernandoed and Breely, to be fair, last week at Anston, uh, these chaps. We're getting bowled out for 115 against Glapwell. Only to win by 25 runs. <laughs> so it was an utterly bonkers weekend last week for scoring. Very solid first shot from Tom. Oh, that's a very full ball. Tom gets an inside edge on it. And Wheatley are off the mark. Oh, Jamie gets an inside edge on that one, and a good job too, I think. Uh, and we've got a couple of the uh, first team players with us. Um, Eddie, uh, can you t give us a clue who's in the team today and who's not? Uh, yeah, so Johnny's not available today. I'm not sure what the reason is this week. He hasn't gone missing again, has he? He, he could be car hunting, <laughs> candle hunting, <laughs> playing golf, who knows with Johnny. Um, <laughs> does what he wants. Um, now we've got George back in today. Fantastic to see you, George. Absolutely. Now, Callum and Dog back in this week, um, which we're very happy to see. We're just sitting on the bench together having a cuddle. <laughs> Again, um, lovely to see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, and then Rob, Rob and Jono in the second team today. Um, they need, they're a bit short this week, so they need the bowling. So no, both teams are pretty good this week. Um, and also, I noticed in the second team, that's a bit of a wacky shot from Tom there. Um, we've got a couple of uh, very Score experienced walks. heads yeah. in there. What, the Waynes, Wayne the Harris Waynes. and Wayne Harrison. Just talk us through how exciting that is for the club. Um, they've got one <laughs> knee between them. Um, I haven't seen either of them break a walk in 10 years. Um, <laughs> so no, I think it's going to be enjoyable. <laughs> This is going to be close, and good running, Tom. Uh, would have been gone. <laughs> Another full one, and that's been steered by Jamie. That's very, very slow, and uh, come back for two. Hit by Tom, and they're going to have a shy. <laughs> uh, just about okay in the end. <laughs> Oh, it's edge, and it's gone into that pack slip cordon, and Jamie falls. <laughs> Alex Manshausen in at three for Wheatley, facing his first ball. Oh, it's an absolute jaffer, first up. Welcome to the crease. <laughs> Cut out by Tom. Not out, and that's uh, two for Tom. We need to move on to 12. That's an edge, and that's gone to second slip again. Munch goes, and Wheatley a 13 for two. So, uh, an excellent bit of uh, swing bowling has accounted for Munch there. And uh, Wheatley again shelled a couple of wickets early doors here. Oh, floaty one. <laughs> Skillful bowling there. And Tommy just about resists the temptation to have a go at it. That's a super shot from Tom. And 
It's just about can they go for four. It's the first boundary for Wheatley. Move on to 19. That's a big appeal and he's been given. Well, Toppers comes to the crease. The score's 19 for three. Tommy facing, that was the last ball of the over. And that's going to be a wide. Oh, and he's bowled him. Tongy goes, and Wheatley are in all sorts of bother now. Topper's facing his first ball. George Lewis is coming for Wheatley. The score is uh, horribly familiar. <laughs> 21 for four. Shot by Toppers, that is absolutely superb. And it's going to go for four, just. That's another shot from Toppers, he's getting on with things here. And, uh, oh, a bit of a slip in the field. He's okay, but they come back for two. George about to face his first ball. And he's bowled him. Five down for Wheatley. So here's Mad Dog, uh, back in the first team where he belongs. And he is uh, going to have to use all his nuggety powers here to try and gouge out an innings for Wheatley because uh, not on Arnold are rampant at the moment. Split the top of the off bail and Mad Dog goes. Well, after what feels like a 10 ball over after a couple of wides, um, he's got it right, and that was a superb delivery. Mad Dog slightly misjudging it. And Wheatley <laughs> having another collapse. End of the over. Wheatley a 29 for 6. And skipper Eddie Tufts is at the non striker's end. So, uh, Wheatley in desperate need of uh, a healthy dose of Eddie's bloody mindedness here and, uh, and to stick it out. Lots of overs to go. I think we're only 12 overs into this game. And once again, we're being undone by excellent bowling. That's very full of something on that, I think. Eddie, that's gone straight up in the air. And he's been dropped. And they come back for two. <laughs> Ventful delivery. So the score's 39 for six. Got 36 overs to go. Inside that ready. And no run. Oh, and another inside that ready. Oh, and the third one this time. Here goes for four. So a change in bowling from this top end after yet another exemplary <laughs> on the spend here. It's a pretty decent change bowler to me. <laughs> Scores 48 for 6. 15 overs gone. And that's caught. Make that 48 for 7. How are you doing Tommy? You're right. Here's the Jolly Shepherd, Callum Harrison. Again, back in the first team like Mad Dog. Batting uh, low in the order for his abilities, but so far this season hasn't quite found what he needs to do to put together a big score. Hopefully, that's today. Shot by Callum. Gosh, he's absolutely biffed that to mid on. But no run. That is absolutely darted back. <laughs> Eddie is uh, down on one knee, as if to say, I'm not worthy. <laughs> oh, that's a 
big up here has been turned down. Well, my usual chat at drinks uh, in the last couple of matches is, uh, well, Wheatley are 49 for seven. <laughs> and uh, have been um, victims of yet another brilliant opening bowling spot and a very good change spell as well. And um, Callum Harrison and Eddie Toffs uh, really need to stick together, use their skills and um, try and counteract this excellent Knott and Arnold bowling attack. Lovely flick from Cal, and that has been pinged out to the uh, backward square leg boundary for four. Lovely stuff. Oh, it's an inside edge by Cal. It's being chased by the keeper, down to fine leg, and they come back for two. Well, if that wasn't an example of a proper keeper's throw, then I don't know what is. <laughs> Cut out by Cal. It's going to be pulled up. And a little flurry of runs for Wheatley. Well, a refreshing change. Lovely stuff from Cal. So, after an excellent spell at the bungalow end, we've got a change in bowling. And we've got spin. Love a bit of spin, me. Well, Wheatley have beaten their score from last week. We're on 59 for 7. And that'll be 60 now. Lovely flake from Eddie. And that's going to be four. Lovely steer from Eddie. And that should go for four. No, it doesn't. It just pulls up. Oh, spectacular fielding. And that's two runs. So I brought you down to Beryl's bench. Desperate need of some shade. The lovely shot from Eddie. Out through square leg for four. I guess there's a gap in the market for him. Definitely. Oh, it's an expansive sweep from Cal. That's gone down, I think, for four buys. So we've got spin on at both ends now. Knots and Arnold. And in fact, Basketball League legend Dilhan Kure coming on to bowl is more than tidy off spin. Big appeal, but uh. Oh, and is that out? <laughs> All happening with that one. Oh, that's snaked past the outside edge. Scores 74 for 7. Eddie goes for a huge shot. And they've got the boundary riders out now. They might have seen a few of these videos. <laughs> Cal goes for a sweep. It's absolutely nailed up for 4. Well flighted and well blocked out by Eddie. Scores 80 for 7, and Wheatley have got through uh, half their overs, unlike last week. Well, uh, not so normal to be in very good voice all day so far. But the uh, chat around the back now has, has got more of a concerned tone to it after this uh, very industrious partnership between Eddie and Cal. Oh! Why do I say these things? <laughs> oh, again. Beautifully bold. Not much Eddie could do about that. It's the cover of the line. Just snuck past his outside edge. Oh, Eddie's. <laughs> well, Eddie's going to play this way. You uh, live by the sword, you perish by the sword. Eddie doesn't care. It's his way of playing, and if he gets hold of that, that's um, going over the tennis courts. Eddie does connect with that, and it's into the sheep field for six. Sorry for the wonk. <laughs> Eddie moves on to 29. 
scores on 90%. Oh, and he's flicked that into his head. It's okay. Pain, what pain. Lovely, lofted driver Cal. It's going to plug, I think. Not going to quite go, but they pick up two. Cal moves himself onto 17. And the score's 92 for 7. This is a really good fight back from Wheatley. Really showing their grit here. Oh, will I ever learn? <laughs> Cal sachets down the crease and is stumped. Cal Rutherford in a 10 and by his own admission doesn't like to hang around. Off the mark first ball. Nicely bowled and that's been given and Eddie goes. 93 for 9. A bit of bat on it. It looked like it. It looked like it. Is it outside? So, the pineapple himself, Henry Patterson. Oh, Cal, you make a better door than the window. And bats that back. I will change the angle in a minute. <laughs> I think that was well bowled. That's a bit better, isn't it? Yeah? Uh, that's uh, gone into the gardens for six. <laughs> Lovely shot from Cal. And the hundreds up for Wheatley. Lovely punch from Cal. And it's gone out to long off. They come back for two. Lovely little tickle down to your fine leg. One's come around from deep backward square. And another two. Cal has punched that out to boot corner for four runs. Lovely stuff. 108 for nine. Knots and Arnold will not want to let it slip here. They bowl really well, but oh, and they haven't. <laughs> it's uh, popped up. And back to the bowler, and yet another commentator's curse. Nice one, Pecky. So, uh, an excellent bowling performance from uh, Knotts and Arnold. They were asked to field first. But to get Wheatley out for a 108 with 16 overs to go represents a, a very, very good effort. So well done to them. But Wheatley will feel they're much more in the game than they were at 48 for 7, I think it was at one stage. So we'll uh, resume after tea for some more scintillating club cricket action. So as uh, Wheatley take the field, uh, Knotts and Arnold openers have been out for a while actually. And they're after uh, 109 runs. George is talking to me. What's that George? No mate, no, no, you're fine. Well, I know I'm fond of uh, repeating the fact that uh, Wheatley like a collapse, but the other club in our bag is uh, the ability to um, bowl teams out pretty quickly as well. And Eddie and the boys will hope that, that is, uh, today's going to be one of those occasions. We've got Callum Rutherford opening the bowling. Nicely bowled by Cal. Henry Patterson opening the bowling for Wheatley from the other end. Comfy single, and um, means that Knotts and Arnold get off the mark. Oh, it's got roasting hot here at the Wheatley Oval, temperature wise. Oh, and uh, that's been thick outside edged for four runs. First boundary to Knotts and Arnold. 
I want to say hot. I don't want any snarky comments from you lot in Australia and India and South Africa. All right, it's hot for us. Okay. Oh, and he's bowled in. What a ball. Oh, and the ball nearly hit me in the head. Oh, I've remembered to kick it back with my foot. <laughs> Cal's happy. Wheatley happy. Great start for Henry. What a ball. Now, who would you want coming in? It's three for your team. Well, much as I uh, love the Wheatley boys, I wouldn't mind uh, Dilhan Karay coming in for us at three. I'll just run you through a few uh, quick stats for him. 3,800s, 55 50s, at an average of 55. Also got a 300 wickets as well with his off spin. So, um, yeah, useful. Streaky shot from Dilhan early on. Oh, and there's buzzers. And that is five, I believe. So the leader of Knotts and Arnold's batting group is facing the leader of the Wheatley attack. Looking forward to this battle. Effortless little flick. And that was incredible. Close to a run out, and this is exactly the sort of nervy start that uh, Wheatley want to encourage. Shot through the covers. And it's two runs. Scores 17 for one. We're in the fourth over. Oh, that's a uh, leading edge. But, uh, no, I'm done in the end. Oh, it's a full of ball from Henry that was going down, I think. being subdued. You're bowling well and then Henry's really started brilliantly here. It's a lovely shot. Mad Dog's just had his request to come up to the stumps uh, unceremoniously dismissed by uh, Cal. So 10 over is gone. Knotts and Arnold are 29 for one. Honours even, you could say. As uh, Dylan Curry nicks a single. Ah! There was something on that and it was a bit high as well, but apart from that. <laughs> Lovely shot. Tongi's got a long chase out to the mid-wicket boundary. Keep it. Keep going, Tongi. And it's two. Oh, it's a sneak through the slips for a single. And that's uh, been coming. Henry's been keeping it really full. And superb opening spell this is from him. So, uh, big Cal Rutherford's having a breather. Jamie Sizer coming on. Mad Dog up to the stumps. And uh, that's a stinker for Mad Dog. And he's fuming. It's uh, a lovely 
lovely shot. Four runs to Mr. Caray. Oh, that is a superb shot. Drilled between cover and extra cover for four runs. Lovely shot down the ground. That's back to back boundaries. Super little bunt, I think you should say. I said bunt. Sisler using a short and run up here. I don't know if this is a sign of him being injured. He pulled up there and I think he might be coming off. So, uh, Knotts and Arnold, 50 up and more than halfway to their total with just uh, the one wicket down. And you have to say they've gone about it very calmly. Wheatley have uh, racked up quite a few dots in this time, but they've just picked out the bad ball. That's all they need to do really today. Wheatley needs something to happen here. And H is continuing quite rightly. He's uh, bowled brilliantly so far. More immaculate wicket keeping from Mad Dog. Oh, lovely bowling from Henry. Oh, and again. This is just top quality bowling from Henry Patterson. Shot. Bouncing out to Beryl's bench. Cal does it very well. He's hurt himself, I think. Oh dear. We, last thing we need. Two runs. Well, Cal's getting some much needed respite on Beryl's bench. Um, I hope he's okay. It, he was uh, yowling a bit, so I think it's uh, a bit painful, but like I said earlier, no one's giving him any sympathy. I'll lend some to him. Hope you get better seeing Cal. Well, I hope I'm not asked to uh, come on as a substitute fielder here because I am um, ill prepared <laughs> both physically and sartorially. Well, uh, Wheatley's bowling attack is in disarray here because we've got one bowler off the field injured. We've got Sizzler who's still on the field but can't bowl. Henry's 17, so he can only bowl that allocation until later. And so Eddie's brought himself on. A bit of uh, left arm seam up. Score 63 for one. 15 overs gone. Good bowling from Eddie. Launched for a one bounce four. Fantastic shot. Now we need a spare ball because I think that one's gone into Wheatley back and um, it will be pretty wet by now, I would have thought. Oh, and it's just clipped the fingertips of uh, Carl Harrison. The short cover. Jamie's obscuring him there. He's on the floor still. I think he's hurt himself. The last thing we need is him to go off now. <laughs> Um, that was a tough chance. He uh, pretty spectacular dive up in the air and just uh, tipped it over the bar to use uh, footballing parlance. Well, Jamie Bovell back. Have you uh, got a Callum Rutherford update for us, Bob? Um, never felt pain like it. Um, he uh, thought he was going to cry. Did cry? But, yeah. Real um, man cry, Bob. Proper tears. Oh, yeah. I think. Yeah. Like um, hard tears, you did describe them as. Yeah, yeah, just it was. It, sort of, my heart went out to him. Really? Don't. You're not. You're not being. You're not being sarcastic, are you, Amy? Me? No. 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 no, no. I have told him that she looks on its way. <laughs> <laughs> That's out. And Dylan Gray goes. Eddie Toffs prizes him out. Lovely polling. Good player this lad. Yeah, to say the least, it's a huge wicket. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and he's bowled him! And Eddie is running through. Not as an Arnold here. Three and six. Yeah, that's a big appeal. I think I heard something on that. Well, the lads have just had drinks. It's 75 for three. Um, and Eddie the Destroyer Tofts is continuing the spell. Brilliant 
set of circumstances. He came in and very much uh, third or fourth change. Here he is, causing all sorts of problems. Well, uh, not since uh, Eddie and uh, Cal Harrison's uh, batting partnership have uh, Wheatley got a, a fake toehold in this game, but while this is happening, we need to capitalise on it with uh, just uh, around 30 runs for um, not so hard to get. We need stuff to happen quickly. This is great bowling from Eddie. Too modest about his bowling efforts, I think. He's, uh, he needs to bowl more. Cal's back on the field. Wheatley got their full complement. Don't think we're going to see him bowling again. He's done very well to come back on. Oh, very well bowled from Cal. Lovely flight. Just spooned over Gully. It's running down for. I think it's going to be three because uh, Tom's pulled that back in. Good fielding. And the score moves on to 81 for three. Oh, lovely bowling from Eddie. And that's the end of the over. So Cal's got a short cover in now. Let's say, uh, more of a silly cover really and uh, also toppers in at short leg as well. This is good stuff from Eddie. And we're uh, not going to restrict them scoring wise. Uh, <laughs> huge shot, one bounce for lovely. Break the shackles a bit there. Cut away. That should go, and it does. They cut loose now, and that's exactly what Knotts and Arnold will want. They were um, under a bit of pressure after uh, Eddie ran through a couple, but now they're racing towards his total. I think that brings him into the 90s. Oh my word. <laughs> this is George. No, no, oh, that's all right. Bit of theatre. <laughs> Thank goodness for that. <laughs> 18 to win for Knotts and Arnold. Cut away, and that's bouncing down for four runs. So, Topper's coming on to bowl some uh, dibbly stuff. Top keeping from Mad Dog, but that's not going to prevent a wide. Eight to win. Well, that is. Finally uh, ran out of fuel, and next in the guest Dibley Dobber of the week, Luke Tong. <laughs> Lovely shot for four, and Knotts and Arnold bring the total down to two to get. Gone straight up in the air. Tom Waterfield's taking it, and Wheatley are taking another with them. <laughs> oh, and that was just out of the reach of Cal Harrison at uh, short mid wicket. That uh, scores a level, and they need one to win. Flicks again, nearly a catch, but uh, not as an Arnold have won. Think by six wickets. Well, a hearty well played to uh, not as an Arnold. They've uh, been on top of this match since uh, very early on, and they thoroughly deserve this win. Wheatley have uh, been uh, well beaten again for the second weekend in a row. Hopefully, uh, we can uh, recover from this quickly and get back to it again next week. Anyway, lovely to have you with us here at the Wheatley Oval on a splendid day. And we'll see you next week. All best. <laughs>